care that it's normal. I'm a random. Ooh. You're a random. Ooh. Just think about that for a second, okay? What is up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Hi, it's Keisha. Nice to meet you all. Get in here because we're going to be talking about Chapel Round. So there's been so much going on, so much conversations being had. People feel so many different ways when it comes to what it is that she had to say in a TikTok rant. She was basically talking about fans and talking about how a lot of them seem to take advantage of their position. Um, and a lot of them seem to be very entitled and a lot of them are stalkers and just all around crazy. And I think that we do need to normalise that conversation for those fans who definitely do fit into that category um, but a lot of people were not here for what she has to say a lot of people believe that she's just complaining and this is a part of being famous it's a part of the package so many stars had to go through it such as Lady Gaga, Beyonce like pretty much everybody that we know and love has had to go through this before people feel like she's basically being ungrateful so I'm gonna go ahead and react to the TikTok videos because I've seen clips here and there but I haven't actually seen it from beginning to end so we're gonna go ahead and check that out together I'm gonna of course give you guys my thoughts and opinions because this is my channel duh <laughs> of course down below in the comment section let's continue the conversation what do you guys feel and yeah now i don't know too much about chapel Rowan. i know that she is like the moment i know that so many people are here for her and her movement and you know I've, if i'm gonna be completely honest with you i know no one's gonna believe me or whatever but i've never heard a single song of hers or maybe i've heard it on the radio i don't really listen to the radio maybe i've heard it at some point i don't know maybe someone's blasting it in the car i just didn't know it was her i'm sure i would go ahead and check her out afterwards anyways but she definitely has like a unique look or whatever so yeah you guys let me know is it worth checking out or not because i'm in dying need for like new musicians anyways i probably will check her out also if you made it this far even though it's only been like what one minute babes go and subscribe it literally costs you nothing and takes less than 10 seconds so what are you waiting for or <laughs> I need you to answer questions. Just answer my questions for a second. If you saw a random woman on the street, would you yell at her from the car window? No. Would you harass her in public? Absolutely would not. Would you go up to a random lady and say, can I get a photo with you? And she's like, no, what the fuck? And then you get mad at this random lady? Um, would you be offended if she says no to your time? Because she has her own time? Would you... Would you stalk her family? This is insane. This is insane. Like, there's no... I mean, I'm not saying there's no way fans don't do that. I'm not trying to dismiss her story because they very much do that. There is this thing about stan culture where people go too crazy. Like, they're a fan... And I'm not going to lie to you, though. If I if I was a fan of hers or a fan of absolutely any celebrity, if I was to see them, I would probably... Depends on what mood I'm in, to be honest. Like, I would probably go up to them and be like, hey, can I have a photo? Um, if they say no, going to feel some type of way. Not even going to lie. Now, am I going to hold them to that and think that they're a nasty person? No. But they also have their own lives going on. But as a fan as someone who generally you know streams their music sorry streams their music uh watches their live performances maybe buy their merchandise or whatever or actually physically buy their music i'm going to feel a certain type of way if i feel like you know what i didn't even get a smile or it was just like a negative nasty interaction oh my god it's a little fly i'm gonna feel about her as a fan and i know people can be like oh my god keisha but they're just celebrities don't worship them it doesn't mean you're worshiping them you can just be a fan of somebody and it doesn't have to be just musicians same way if you are like a movie connoisseur and you see your favorite actor or actress out and about on the streets you're gonna be shickety shockety shook like oh my god they're literally right in front of me i'm gonna take advantage of this moment i'm trying to see it from all perspectives here but of course you never know what it is that these stars are going through like just because they have all the fame and the money and they're doing well for themselves doesn't mean that deep down they're actually good and it doesn't mean like who's to say that they're not struggling with mental health and i know people are gonna be saying okay then she should just quit and just go about her regular schmegler day sure but it's not as easy as that let's be realistic you know i think that a lot of people are literally tuning into chapel run i need to get into chapel run because apparently my faves love her Ariana grande followed her rihanna followed her um she is the moment whether she likes it or not now for me personally i don't know what i'm gonna do um i'm the type of person where like i'm a yapper i love to rant if i'm a bit pissed off about something people are gonna know about it uh preferably on my spam account though <laughs> I think that she's just fed up and I think that you know with seeing the headlines and everything coming out about Chapel Roan recently with like people saying that she's just coming across as quite mean I think a lot of you guys don't understand boundaries and I think it's very evident and it's very it's also very scary if you were insulted by somebody being vulnerable about how fame makes them feel you've got a problem now I don't think there's anything wrong with her ap approach or delivery and I think that it kind of reminds me of when Doja Cat was trying to say the same thing but just didn't do a good job at doing it i know what she meant but the delivery was just poor celebrities are allowed to set boundaries and in fact should set boundaries for peace of mind and sanity a year ago i was hella depressed 
in the worst space ever and that I had my own things going on she probably has her own things going on but to do that in the limelight I can imagine is insane you've always got to be on and ready and smiley and happy and giggly and wanting to take pictures all the time and it's like no sometimes you're just not down for it now am I going to do what it is that I have to do which is just take the picture sure it literally takes a couple seconds or whatever but sometimes I'm just not feeling it and I'm not gonna lie to you guys if I'm in a bad mood unfortunately everyone else around me yikes so far i don't see anything wrong with what she said i think people are too extreme and take things beyond and, and try and stalk her family to figure out oh my god where's she gonna be that is creepy behavior and that's how a lot of murders start you know like the psychopaths like you know those documentaries that you watch on netflix or whatever right or discovery <laughs> that's how a lot of these documentaries start is with people being too obsessed okay like obsession can lead to really dark things and i think that people just need to be careful keep it cute keep it calm and no don't do too much would you try to dissect her life and bully her online this is a lady you don't know tap her on baby i don't know how old you is i'm gonna assume you're like in your early 20s maybe like my age mate i don't know but don't you understand that this is how the game goes and i know sometimes people just accidentally blow up okay but you're riding the wave you're still releasing songs you're still releasing albums you know like you're probably following in someone's footsteps like you probably are a huge fan of like another artist and you've seen their journey you've seen them express what fame is like and the hardships of it so like girl in my opinion i feel like you I mean, i'm not saying that you should have seen this coming but also i am saying that but it doesn't make it excusable in any way shape or form i think that a lot of people who are aspiring musicians know that okay one day if i blow up my song goes viral and people take a liking to me um there are going to be people who are heavily invested in my personal life there are going to be people who may possibly stalk um and try to investigate my childhood home or where i'm currently staying now that paparazzi is going to be crazy i'm aware that a lot of things are going to be out of my control and i think that's just basically what comes with fame i think some people are good at it and, and navigating it and some people are just like you know what yikes i would rather just go back to not being as famous or not attending events or not putting myself out there anymore which is so sad um and she doesn't know you at all Ooh. would you assume that she's a good person assume she's a bad person would you assume everything you read about her online is true boundaries are important the older you get the more you realize setting boundaries is the number one thing in order for an ounce of peace now are the people going to give her peace probably not are they still going to run up to her probably but you can't expect for this lady to literally turn around and be like oh my god yes come here girl if i'm not in the mood i'm not in the mood does that make me a rude person i hope not makes bitch. me human you're a random bitch just think about that for a second okay i don't care that abuse and harassment stalking whatever is a normal thing to do to people who are um famous yeah but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be and like i'm saying here like yes i know that this is kind of what happens to famous people but it's really crazy how people will find people's address and stalk them do you guys remember i can't remember what celebrity was it for i think someone tried to break into ariana grande's house i couldn't tell you what year it was but not too long ago actually and i believe they tried to pretend they were a delivery driver but they actually weren't they were just a crazy ass prick who wanted to get close to ariana but thankfully to my knowledge anyway she wasn't home i do think fans can take things a little bit too far now not all if the shoe fits bitch wear it and let me know what size you wear for me personally when i like somebody and i'm a fan of somebody we keep it cute we keep it steady i might buy, i might buy your merchandise stream your songs whatever but i'm never gonna make it my mission to literally do the most i just think that sometimes in our minds we probably think it's like an innocent thing to like try and see where they're gonna be at or like what hotel they're staying at and stuff and i think that to be honest when we were younger it probably was something that was a lot more common but to be doing it in your big 20s when you should go and find a job and do something productive with your time go and touch some grass or something baby ah i'm seeing a lot of comments saying that she sounds very ungrateful to me she doesn't sound ungrateful you've got people saying okay well don't be famous then but it's not that easy to just hang it down like this is someone who wants to be a musician but just wishes that certain things could change now are things gonna change probably not i think more people will probably have to speak on it um but i think again this is something the doja cat was getting at a couple years ago not with the best delivery and she kind of wrecked that for herself but i think that she was onto something there a little famous whatever i don't care that it's normal i don't care that this crazy type of behavior comes along with the job the career field i've chosen that does not make it okay that doesn't make it normal i don't it doesn't mean i want it, it doesn't mean that i like it I don't want whatever the fuck you think 
you're supposed to be entitled to whenever you see a celebrity. Agreed. I don't fuck if you think it's selfish of me to say no for a photo or... When it comes to like, like I said earlier, I think I'd be a little bit like upset and I think it would probably ruin my day if one of my faves turn me down for a photo especially when I was in a good mood now if I come in with a great energy like hey chaperone like huge fan of yours I wonder if you can take a photo quickly I think that's respectful I think that's respectful now is she gonna turn those types of people away or is she just gonna turn down the screaming fans or the ones who don't even greet her and say hey can I have a photo or they might not even say hey just can I have a photo I would love to know more about that like would you turn the respectful fans away too I know that people have tried to like reuse the word like try to like change the meaning of the word stan but to me, it's the way Eminem uses it, stalker fan. Like, you're just somebody who does the most, who doesn't rest, who's always running their Twitter fingers trying to defend their fave, but that fave don't even know you exist. Like, people need to understand that you and your fave celebrities don't know you exist. Yes, they might follow you on Twitter, but you're just still not that bitch, period. Like, I don't know who needs to hear this. Period! Period! But it's the wake-up call, because a lot of people be doing the most, and it's like, I even have my experiences with, I mean, it's very different from this, but like, I was sitting on here, I was sitting on here and talk about whoever celebrity I feel like talking about because there is some sort of message in that and there is something going on in terms of like a scandal situation, right? And I'm, me, just me, a small old me, right? Out of the billions of people in the world just giving my thoughts and opinions and people will find the need to literally try to do too much when they don't like what they hear. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your so-called fave. But even at that, she don't know, or he don't know you exist. Keep it at that. People do the absolute most. Makes you just like, not want to even talk to certain people or like even involve yourself in certain artists and stuff like that and it should never be that because it should always be freedom of speech as long as you're being respectful about it and i think people just take it too far you need to understand these celebrities do not know you they are probably grateful that you've given them the chicoin to live their very best life but baby look at what position you're in and that's me keeping it real okay call it shady call it what you want for your time or to for a hug that's not normal that's weird it's weird okay now this part i kind of disagree with i feel like she's saying it's very weird to go and ask someone for a hug i mean if you're doing it in a respectful man, like i feel like girl you need to understand that you're just you're not like the first ever artist to ever do this goddamn thing if you were then sure you can find some complaints and find this to be very weird but people have been doing this okay now whether they have the hugest smile on their face or not people have been doing this i just feel like it's not that deep personally but if that's your boundaries you don't want to hug people anymore then sure but also it's very strange how when justin bieber said that he doesn't want to take selfies with people anymore or take photos the whole internet literally made headlines about him and the same thing happened oh my god who what other artists was it they're like i don't really want to like take pictures of fans anymore i mean does it come across as quite entitled yes but also i think these are just boundaries and i think the older that i'm getting the more i realize okay sure whatever sure it is what it is if you've explained yourself and this is how you feel who am i to want to change your mind but i feel like if someone asks for a hug i don't feel like it's that deep for me personally but also maybe some people are victims of certain things and where they don't like physical contact or touching people or maybe they're not victims and they just don't like touching people it's fine i think <laughs> that's fucking weird i'm allowed to say no to creepy behavior okay <laughs> I do see it from all perspectives and I'm trying my very best here too but I think overall because I'm somebody who is a firm believer in boundaries and letting that be clear and letting people know exactly where you stand how you feel what's okay and what's not okay I don't have a problem with this that with seeing this headline I did do a little bit of my own research and just the way that she approaches the conversation of fame I don't think that she was even ready for that I think that she doesn't know what she signed up for I think other artists wish that they could set boundaries in place and wish that they could be open enough to take to their platform and speak very similar to this without trying to come across as ungrateful but i think that automatically you are going to be seen as ungrateful if you point out things that you don't like that fans are doing be like hey can i have a hug is that weird because i feel like this is not on the same level at all but i remember i was out at hyde park i think it was like maybe three four weeks ago out and about just not by, not by myself i'll be honest not by myself and like i'm not gonna lie that caught me off guard when the person was like keisha and I was like, okay, I knew this is probably going to be one of those interactions because I don't leave my house that much. But when I do, I can probably expect something to probably, like, so I'm going to see someone, I'm going to take a picture. For me, I just see myself as a little girl. Like, I'm just trying to do what it is that I want to do. Not a little girl, sorry. I'm a grown ass bitch, period. But I just see myself as just like, okay, girl, I'm just, I'm gonna, I just do what it is that I do and I go about my day. Maybe that's how Chaperone sees herself even though there is some, even though there is a following behind that. Maybe she just hasn't mentally prepared herself and she isn't fully aware of this situation, which is you are currently that bitch and people are checking for you, you know? Um, but again, going back to my situation for a second, like the person was like, Keisha. And I remember I was talking to someone, I was talking to this guy, well, boo, he's trash anyways. 
later I worked it out like what two weeks later <laughs> but anyways in that moment I didn't know he was trash so I turned around I was like oh that, that might be a supporter of mine one second I turned around the girl came to me she was smiling her mum was there her best friend was there and I was like oh my god hi um and I was in a very great mood that day I'm not gonna lie to you and she was like hey oh my god I'm such a huge fan of yours and I was like oh my god <laughs> it caught me off guard because I just find these things funny and I'm not laughing at them I just find it funny because I'm just like girl I'm little old me like literally just filming in my room and sometimes we forget the impact and like the even if we see the numbers, we forget that those are human beings. Sometimes we just think it's like a machine or just like, I, I don't know, it's so weird and I can't explain it. I think anyone with a platform might understand what I'm trying to say here. She was like, hey, can I, have a, can I have a hug? Can we have a picture? And I was just like, I was so awkward. I did it, of course. But I looked at the person, I was like, oh my God. I was just like, hold my bag for me. I don't know why I did that anyways. Um, and yeah, like I just, I it catches me off guard. And sometimes I think, I just see myself as like a regular schmegular human being, but to other people, you're like the big deal or you're like somebody and it's just like, it's so funny. But anyways, um, I did eventually take, I did end up taking the picture and I did give her a hug and I said, thank you so much for supporting me. But I'm not gonna lie to you, also with somebody, as somebody who has like social anxiety and it pops out at random times of my life, um, I felt like I held my own with that conversation, but there have been times where like, I kind of just don't know what to say and I feel awkward. So in my head, I'm kind of like, I'd rather, I wish that interaction didn't happen. Not because I did anything wrong, but because of my awkwardness and anxiety. So that's another thing too. And I feel like we just need to see things from everyone's perspective. The fact that people on Twitter are basically trashing her and saying, oh, well, you know, Lady Gaga would never, Ariana Grande would never complain. She just complains too much. It's like, no, she's just not used to this. And yes, yeah, she probably thought her music was amazing enough to release it, but she never knew that people were gonna take a liking as quickly as they did. Her fame is only gonna grow and grow. You've got people saying stuff like, I'm never gonna be a Chaperone fan. Well, girl, you're lucky that I don't know a single song of hers because if that was the case, baby, I would ask you to give up your ticket, the ticket that you bought for one of her shows, give it up then if, you, if she suddenly canceled and give it to me, all right? People just be talking and yapping. Don't take people too seriously. I know I don't. If she's canceled, you better give it up oh no but you're still gonna go to the show right there are crazy ways people approach celebrities and it's a no don't approach celebrities when they're eating oh absolutely not god forbid i'm eating spaghetti and someone taps my shoulder or says hey keisha no it you're no like read the room you know what i mean that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions yes i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video bye